So the Olympics are happening. Let's talk about that. Hey, what's up? I'm Ken. This is Ken from TV, and this week, I'm disappointed. The Olympics are happening. Karate, Tokyo, we're doing it. Karate's happening in the Olympics. We wanted this. We're excited about this. I haven't gotten to see as much of it as I would like to yet. But what I have gotten to see, what I have seen, what I've been watching lately, is so many posts by Karateka bashing on it. I get it. I'm in the practical karate crowd. That's that's my circle. That's what I want to do. That's what I want my karate to be is focusing on how we make karate practical and functional and pragmatic again. And how we focus on making it work. I want to see the changes. I want to see it pressure tested. I want to use it in a non-consensual way. That's what I want. The Olympics isn't that. Olympic kata is not the kata that I do. Olympic kumite is not the fighting that I do. Who cares? What we have right now is we have high-level athletes. We have karate practitioners. You could call them our brothers and sisters in, in karate. Who have spent an enormous amount of time. More time than, than probably most of us have actually spent dedicated to perfecting a single thing. Working their asses off to excel, to try themselves in front of the world and being judged, being judged by a panel. It's highly regimented, it's highly regulated. There's lots of rules, there's lots of things that, that will score points and not score points and they're representing not only their art, but they're representing their country, their national pride. When was the last time you did something with that level of pressure on you? When was the last time that, that you worked for years to be able to do that kick perfectly and i don't mean yeah you've you've continued to make your kick better over the course of years i mean you have spent dedicated time every day trying to make yourself better in a small way in this tiny way that's going to be judged by somebody i don't compete i'm not a competitor i frankly don't like it but I can admire and appreciate people who put that much effort into it. That's the discipline that we all romantically wanted from the martial arts was this, this pursuit. You know, we watched our karate kids and blood sports and all these different things. And we got excited about the idea of discipline. These guys have it. They've done it. They're standing up in front of the world right now showing the work that they have put in. And then I hop on Facebook. I jump on different Facebook groups and all I hear is complaints about the way they kiai and the way they do their kata and the way they do their bunkai and the way they do their, their kumite, the way they spar, the way they everything. Everything. And I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in the people who have committed their lives to a practice that follows a set of dojo-kun that basically means don't be a jerk. Don't, don't be a jerk. Don't go pick fights. Always act with good manners. Work to perfect your character. Refrain from uncontrolled behavior. And yet, here's what I see, is I see a whole bunch of karateka jumping on and commenting, comment after comment after comment, picking apart other people. Is that how you want to be remembered? Is that what you want out of, out of your reputation? It's not what I want. I don't have to like the Olympics. I don't have to like what karate is doing in the Olympics right now. I don't have to like it. But you're not going to see me out there tearing people down because I feel like there's a lot of things in this life that I don't agree with or don't want to do or don't fit me. But that doesn't make them wrong. So who am I to tell them that what they're doing is worthless? It's not what I'm doing and therefore this is not worth watching. This is not worth doing. That they've, They're wasting their time. I don't want this. This is not this is not the people that I want to surround myself with. And I hope it's not the people that you want to surround yourself with. And if you're one of these people, I hope that hearing this makes you realize that you don't have to do that. You can have strong opinions and, and speak objectively while also recognizing that the thing we on the practical side like and the thing that is happening on the Olympic side are separate things. And it's okay for them to be separate. It's okay for them to have their own merit, their own practice, and their own following. It's not hurting karate 
to have different facets. The people who want the things that we want will find it. The people who want the Olympic way or the sport way will find that. The people who want the mental health and the, the, the mind, body, health and movement, Tai Chi more style will find that. Karate is what it needs to be for the individual. And people will find groups that are that are actively pursuing those individual things. It's always going to happen. It always has happened. And it's going to continue to be that way. I had a video a while ago about, about fixing karate and how I don't think it ever will be fixed. Because how do you fix a thing that has grown to have facets that satisfy individual needs and different types of needs? How do you fix that? without destroying part of it. And I don't think you do. I don't think that you fix karate and make it perfect by taking away the things, all the good that it's doing in the world so that it does the good that you want to see in the world. I have very specific things that I want to see and if you train with me, then you know that because I talk about them. But I don't think it's okay to dismiss and be dismissive of the other ways people train karate. If someone's getting hurt, if people are training in a way that is abusive and people are getting injured because it's unsafe, I'll stand up for that. But we're not talking about that. These guys have coaches and medical professionals, things like that. Every, that's not what's happening. That's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about safety and abuse. We're talking about, I just don't like it. I don't like the way they do it. I think that it's not practical and it's not functional and I don't know why people would spend their time on this. That's not the crowd that I want to be around. That's not, as Chris Hansen would say, that's not the karate unity that we're looking for. It needs to be okay for us to surround ourselves with people who are going the direction we're going. But that doesn't mean that we need to be upset or frustrated or, or mean towards the people who aren't. So they're not going the direction we're going. Who cares? They're going the direction they're going. They could be looking at us, feeling the same way, being like, why are you going that way? This is the way to go. Who's right? We'll all have our own opinion. From my perspective, I'm right. From your perspective, you're right. So who's right? Does that have value? Is that what we're doing here? The moral and ethical character that I see built out of people who practice the martial arts and practice karate specifically, I, don't, I expect better than what I've seen. I'm just disappointed this week. And you might not agree with me, and that's okay. And you can comment, and we can talk about it, and that's okay too. Just, I don't know, maybe try to be supportive of each, of each other rather than bringing each other down. How would you like to work for years trying and then hop on Facebook and just hear people just ripping you apart because they just don't like what you do? It's not that you weren't excellent at it. And I see a lot of that. That's what I see is I see this is incredible athleticism. This is incredible elite level athletes. But, and then it just rips it apart. I don't see any value in it. I just don't see value in it. Put your head down and focus on the things that you want to make better by making them better. You don't make something look better. I don't make my house look better by going and doing bad things to my neighbor's house to make their house look worse. I make my house look better by making my house look better. If I want to make me look better, then I do me. I do what I need to do to be better. I don't go make other people look worse. And I feel like karate for years has built on the idea that the moral and ethical principles that we are following is building towards people of good character who wouldn't do these things. So I'm disappointed when I see people who would stand up and there's names that I see in the list that I'm like, I've seen your arguments on, on how you pick apart respect and these kind of things. And then you post stuff like this. What's the value in it? What did you get out of that? How did it make you better? How did it improve the situation? I don't think it did. I don't know. I'm frustrated. This isn't my normal tone. This isn't the normal way these videos go. But I just felt like it was worth saying. That's all. Catch you next week.